Hey guys, the kids' playroom has been a project on my to-do list for quite some time, and it wasn't until I saw the Downtown Alley's Instagram story on how she revamped her utility closet that really inspired me to get it going. I love how this turned out. It was so easy to do, very affordable, and I hope you guys enjoy. Here's what we're dealing with. So essentially, I already have three gray cubes, but this just, it's too cluttery. It's too much. So I want to fill the rest of these bins, these little cubbies with the bins. I'm going to leave some of them with just books. I also have those bookshelves there. So I'm hoping that this space will look a little bit cleaner. Kind of like the first two top shelves are Addie's things and the bottom two are Bentley's. Hmm? It's okay. So this is the project at hand. See before. And I also need to like clear off the top there. I painted on myself. I haven't decided if I'm actually going to label them because we pretty much know what will be in them, but I just wanted to kind of show you. The room normally is like pretty tidy, so I just want this to not look as messy. Here are the materials. These are the little poles I got off Amazon. I think there's 18 in here, but I won't need 18. I'm going to spray paint them white. Got this at Walmart. You can find this at Michael's too. And... I've never heard of this, but Ali swears by it, so this is what is gonna hold these onto the bins. And then these are the bins, all got at Walmart. They're collapsible. They have them in a ton of colors, even more of a selection online than in store. But I just stuck with the gray because it matches like the wall color and the other toy box that's in there. So pretty basic things. The first thing I'm gonna do is spray paint these. Once they're dry, I will glue them on. And then I can organize the bins. them so I could attach the pulleys so I had to pretty much just dump everything out and now I just need to organize within the boxes Look how much better, so much more well organized and easy on the eyes. Left out cubes from where I keep the books. And this is all Addie's like doll stuff and dress up at least sword. But basically, I could label these, but I don't really, I kind of know what's in everything. This is all of her crafts. This is all of her like coloring and markers. So the first two shelves I reserved for her board games puzzles. This is all more doll clothes, accessories. These are all like individual cases. My Little Ponies, beads, her makeup stuff. They're separate to, uh, organization within that. Down here are all of Bentley's toys, even though you would never think he has toys because all he wants are his sister's toys. So he has instruments and puzzles, cars, books, his tools, his computer, balls and cars, his doctor kit, Mama. Uh, another tool Mama. kit. What? You want the puppy? You gonna take puppy for a walk? Go ahead. Take him for a walk. <laughs> um, trucks and trains. Oh. I like that these pull out really easily too. More books and then airplanes, guitar, 
favorite little drum set. I'm sorry, the lighting. It's dark in here. Kids' kitchen, their little table, a toy box. is set up like half Addy stuff and half Bentley stuff. I swap out the books from time to time. And then the desk is like all of our stuff. Are you taking Puppy for a walk? Okay, bye. Bye bye. Bye. I hope that this organization video is helpful to you. Everything was super easy, it took me no time at all. The only time that it took was for the paint knobs to dry and from like being painted and then the glue to dry to set. But I just think it's so much more of like a clean aesthetic and feel and it, it's not like the first thing my eyes go to anymore, anymore when I walk in this room. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will see you in my next video.